Good evening. Um, yeah, I'm just back to give you a quick, uh, quick announcement. Um, so what's going to happen is um, we have encountered land and we're going to set down there for tonight. Um, you're not going to come, of course. You're going to stay on a ship where you are safe, warm, and etc. You know, where you can stay and everything. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. You, you, don't worry, you get food very soon and something to drink, of course, because I don't think you've had anything for a, quite a long time. Don't worry about it. As I said, you're going to be treated very well. So, um, you get food, you get water, you get everything you need. You can even go to, to your deeds, if you understand what I mean. Uh, actually, now I think about it, maybe it's best if we take you out for a little bit at least, so you can, you know, do your thing without us looking at you. I think that would be some, you know, I think the privacy would be appreciated, would not? Because, um, you know. But yeah, I thought um, it would be, it would be smart to tell you, you know. And um, as they are still sleeping, which I can't understand, they don't have to do anything yet anyway, so like, it's easy to just sleep through it, you know. I'm not really sure why you don't do it, but um, you know what? I'm not going to question it. It's your thing. And if it doesn't work for you to sleep on a boat, maybe you feel a little bit sick or something, well, not my concern. Your, your thing. Um, so yeah, we're going, to, we're going to find... We think it's um, part of England. We don't know. Maybe um, the coast of Normandy. We'll see what language they speak there. We've we've sailed a certain course, of course, but you never know where you are until you speak to the people. It should be Normandy, but yeah, you know, could also be um, something else. We don't know. We'll see about it. Maybe, yeah, it's probably Normandy. I don't really see anything else. It could be. So um, yeah, people are quite nice there. Even though we rate him quite a lot, but um, hey, let him let 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 him let live, huh? Just forgive and forget. That's what it's all about. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to be on land very soon. It might also be nice for you to just stretch your legs for a bit. You know, I've been in this tight area area for quite a long time now, and um. You know, in your shackles. I'm not gonna remove them or anything. You, I think you'll handle it, right? Like taking taking a leak with your hands. Is that possible for females? I don't know. I'm actually kind of curious about it. Is it possible? All right. I guess we'll untie you then. Just don't try to run, okay? Just promise me you won't run, because that we don't want it to happen. We do not want to hurt you, as I said previously. We aren't bad people. We are just, um, we have a different culture. Let's say it like that, okay? We have a different culture and everything goes different with us. So like, you know, raiding is just part of our culture. All right. Um, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? How have you actually been holding up? Cause I'm kind of curious about this. You know, you've been in, you've been down below for quite a long time. You haven't really seen the sun. Just threw a few splits in the, uh, in the roof, but um, that's still not a lot. So how is it being stuck down here in cuffs and knowing that you will never see your home again? Oh. I mean, I guess I could have expected it, but um, we're not going to change anything. So, uh, yeah. Sorry. I mean, not necessarily, sorry. It's still your own fault for fighting back. Like, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go unprotected. Your, your village should not have been unprotected. Let's say it like that. If your village had good warriors in them, you would not have been kidnapped and we would have not come. So it is your own fault. It's not your own fault. It's the village's elder's fault. He should have done something about it. You can blame him, not us. All right. Good. But, um, yeah, I think we can hear the birds already. I love their singing. It reminds me of home. 
We have a different kind of purse piece. I don't know the exact name of it, but they sing beautiful songs in my home. And when you hear the water, the little river that goes through my field, you hear the wind breeze. Oh, it's beautiful. I think you love it. If you have time to listen to it. <laughs> You'll probably be working a lot, but hey, it's, um, it's a sort of payment. If you do well, um, you should be able to buy your freedom. Is that interesting? If you, uh, if you earn money in some sort of way, I might give you money, I don't know. I'm a nice Viking after all, don't forget that. Yeah. I might, not a lot of course, it'll take you a few years to work your way out. If you do very well, I might even release you in the first five years. But I don't think it will be, it will be any earlier though. It's quite, slaves are quite expensive, and, um... If I sell you, I'd probably get, like, a lot of money for you. Like, I would be rich for a very long, I would not have to do anything for a very long time. It's a lot that slaves go for in my village. Not a lot of people can buy them, though, but, um, you know... They're still very helpful, we all need them, otherwise we would not be able to run our farms, you know? I mean, you probably won't work on the farm. You'll probably work in the house, just clean everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a mess already. I don't really mind it. But um, you can do different things, you know. You can cook if you want. I mean, you don't really have a choice. <laughs> uh, you know. Trying to make it sound as pleasant as possible. So that everybody will be happy. <laughs> happy trolls are good trolls, as, I always, as my dad always liked to say. He once had a little riot on his farm, and um, he had to kill a couple of them. You know, it happens. We can't please everybody, you know. But he was a crude man, so I can understand why they, why they rioted. I mean, they tried to escape, they didn't really riot. Uh, but we did have to kill them, sadly enough. But hey, it happens. And I am not like him, I learned from his mistakes. I learned that I need to be nice to the people that work for me, or involuntarily work for me, you know? It's, they still work for me, so I can say, work for me. Either way, I think you'll love it. It's gonna be great, and it's very beautiful down there. But, uh, for now, you will be going on land under my supervision. So, um, you know, we'll probably arrive there in uh, maybe 10, 20 minutes. Um, I'll call you back then, okay? For now, um, just prepare yourself or whatever, or just hang around, because you don't really have a choice. It was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> All right. Not one for jokes. All right, I see. Oh, well, we'll find... You, you, you'll find that my joke can be very funny at some point. Plus, you probably won't hear any, any other joke, so... Oh, whoopsie-daisy. That was my axe. Let me just grab it very quickly. All right, um, yeah, um, that was very odd. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go upstairs again, and I'm gonna prepare. You stay here, and I'll call you, or I'll, I'll get you when you can go on land, okay? All right, I'll see you in uh, 20 minutes then.